For this lesson, go ahead into our Chapter 15 folder and open up the big red caboose right here. That was a different time in train travel. There was usually a dude back there in the winter that had a potbelly stove to keep warm, fix meals for the other crew members, and fix stuff when it broke. Probably spent the rest of the time up here just looking at the world go by. I like the photo. I think I took that somewhere in California, and I want to fix it up just a little bit. So let's start with one thing. Kind of want to straighten it out just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little. So if we go into the straightening tool and go into our options, I'm going to use Grow Shrink and Auto Fill. Let's turn that off again. But notice it won't let me do it. Why? Well, click and find out. This is a 16-bit image, and straighten don't work on 16-bit. So we have a choice. Not straightening it or converting it to 8-bit, which I'm going to do right now. Now, I do lose some color information in doing this, so it's a trade-off. But I'm going to get right about here. I'm not going to do a lot. Get right about here and use that as my straight line. And let go right there. Now, it's going to do the autofill, which I absolutely love. And it uses Content Aware Management to do that. Should do a pretty good job. Okay, that is amazing. Even down to the train track down there. Okay, so I've got it where I want it in terms of being straightened. But there is a bit of distortion right in here. Barrel distortion from the lens. So I want to fix that. So go up to the word filter on the pull-down menu and go down to correct camera distortion. Now it already, I don't know if you can tell, it already tried to do it. Let's turn the grid off. Most of the time to me that's more of a distraction than a help anyway. If I turn off preview, you can see. It did what it thought was right, and I think it needs just a little bit more. So here's remove distortion here. We can go this way or this way. And I want to go just a little bit more, plus one. I'm going to come back up here again. Okay, now I'm happy. Over here, you have vignette options. Now sometimes when you're shooting a photograph and maybe you have a filter on your lens, which kind of extends out, and you get that darker area or lighter area around the edges, that's what this is for. And you can correct that and equalize it by going one way or the other. Now, we don't have any, so we don't have to worry about that. So let me go back in here and make that a zero. Midpoint is just the midpoint of the vignette. Now, I do want to work a little bit with perspective. For example, I can go vertical. I was standing with the camera at my eyes about five and a half feet off the ground at that point where my eyes are. So that's where I am, kind of looking at the train and shooting. Vertical changes that. It's like, do you want to make it look like you're on your knees or maybe up on a ladder? And we can change that. Usually it does a pretty good job. I do want to leave that where it was. So I'm going to put a zero in there again. But I want to change the horizontal. I'm off on an angle here shooting this way. I want to be right here shooting straight at it. That's horizontal perspective. Now, I'm going to lose part of the caboose over on the left. We'll deal with that in a minute. So that's a little bit more like I'm straight on looking at it. Now, we can change the angle if you want to rotate it, which I don't want to do. But I want to get back that other part of the caboose if I can. So I'm going to come down to edge extension down here. And if I move the scale, you can see what it had to do to get the image to look like I wanted it to look. Okay, so let's come back down a little bit more. I'm going to get to right about there. I'm willing to lose this information up here anyway, so I'm happy with that because now i got both sides again. Let's go ahead and click OK. Let's pick up our cropping tool. What I want to do is crop it. I want to get as much as I can, though, but I want to balance out both sides here so I can go about to there. So I've got that much space from here to here. Try to get about the same amount on the other side. Now I can go higher. And I can go, let's see if I can, a little bit lower. But not much. Okay. Go ahead and click the check mark. And there you go. A completely different image based on a little bit of straightening. But using this option under here correct camera distortion, 
not only corrects distortion, but even the perspective of the image. Let's go ahead and save this guy. We spent a lot of time on him. Go ahead and say save. And just leave those at default and click save. There you go. Correcting camera distortion.